Hey guys, it's uh, Kelsey, and I'm going to be starting my Iron Woman series for episode 16. It's going to be a while until this one comes out, uh, simply because uh, my fiancé's been in town, and he leaves at the very end of this week. So this is going to take a while to, to get posted because I've, I've been spending a lot of time with him because when he's in town, full attention on him, and I haven't been playing RuneScape as much. But uh, here I'm just doing some agility. I'm hoping to get 84 agility out of all of this, but I got 1,400 battle stats left to go to Alk. Um, last time I price checked that, that was like 13, almost 14 million battle stats. Um, I haven't really been buying uh, the battle stats because I don't want to make any more into air orbs, um, but I'll probably get back into that once I have a nice cash stack. And uh, we'll see if this will get me an agility level, hopefully. And uh, I'll catch y'all in a bit. Okay, I got a hard clue scrap. Can't speak. Reward casket that's hard, and I thought I would record opening it. Oh my. I mean, honestly, it could be worse. It's okay. I mean, pretty bad, but like I said, could be worse. Another hard clue casket. Pretty much, I've been trying to do more clue scrolls because. I don't have that many done, and for my total level and all that, it's pretty pathetic. I don't actually really enjoy doing clue scrolls at all. I've never done a master clue, and I just don't enjoy doing them in general, but I'm trying to get up to date with that, so. Oh, wow, that's that's pretty cool. Oh, we got some uniques here. Red Cavalier. I don't know if I'll ever really wear that or use that, but I could put it in my house. Uh, Sarah Dome and whatever that is, that's probably can be used for another clue, so awesome. Alright, so I'm not very sure what herbler level I'm going to get from all of this. I've also got a ton in the bank. Let's see, we've got 1,450 Invento Potions, and I'm going to be adding another, another 930 to that. And we've got still a lot of other stuff in here that I'm not too sure about, but we'll find out. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make these all and combine them. If you've done the hard diary, you can see her and she'll combine them for you for a payment. I'm at 6.3 mil right now and um, I went down to 5.7 but in my opinion that is totally worth it the amount of time I saved. Um, I'm definitely gonna get 87 herbler tonight. I'm not too sure about 90 or if I have the potions for 90 we'll see. I'm just about to um, knock out 87 herbler which is super nice. Um, I have no idea if I have enough to get a night to 90. I'm just going to keep going until I pretty much run out of um, supplies and such. Alright, we got a hard clue casket up in here. Let's give it a go. I will totally take that. That's a really nice get, you know, 192k coins. Sexy. Okay, that is officially the most amount of tears I've ever gotten. 161 tears of Guthics. That's nuts. Let's see how much XP it gives me. And I did not even see the XP drop, so I actually have no idea. But that was a lot of tears. I would guess around 11 or 12k. So pretty much I'm 7 bones away from 82 prayer. Uh, this kind of was not really a goal for me. I just thought that I kept putting my Tears of Guthix in prayer because it was like my lowest skill by XP. And my rune crafting is 81, so I was like, let's keep the, you know, the Tears of Guthix in rune crafting because, I don't know, I just thought I had everything in my bank to get 82, so I might as well do it. Finished a QRS task of 170 of them. Pretty good. I even got a hard clue out of it, which I'll eventually do. I'm just going to try and price check everything. This is, does not include the herbs I got, because all of the herbs I got are in the herb sack. I'm just doing what's in my current inventory and the alcohols and things like that. Oh my, big lag. Sorry, the servers have been really bad. There we go. Alright. So, pretty much just adding everything, and I haven't even done my hard clue yet, but that's 725k for 170 Kiras, which is pretty incredible, and that doesn't include the herbs. What we're going to go ahead and do is bank, and I'll try to add on the herbs to the 125k. For sure, 
Puresque or incredibly uh, incredible. I got all of these nature runes also from them. And for those who are wondering why I haven't um, pretty much gotten um, out to these rune axes, it's because I collect them because my first rune axe took me forever to get. So I'm just collecting them out of spite because when I was a lower level Iron Man, it was pretty difficult to get. So, all right. So let me just bank all this. My Ruin Axe stack is finally at 220, which is funny. Um, let me bank all this and we will get to, I currently have five Leaf Blades and four Axes, so that's nice. All right, so let's see what we got here. I know I have a good amount of herbs. I'm gonna try and not count the Marintals since they're not worth much from my understanding, but let me see. Two Snapdragon Seeds, too, from that, which is great. Ton of gnats, all that good stuff. I cannot believe the lag on this world. Recently, the servers have been just awful. I guess we'll give it a moment. Okay, so if we add on the herbs for getting around 800k for that task, I didn't count the Marantils, but that's pretty incredible. For 170 Kurosk. I wish they were a more common task because they're very rare. My fifth Abyssal Whip from this Abbey Demon task, and I'm really happy about that because my Tentacle Whip is getting really low and I'm about to actually lose one of my lip Whips. So that's pretty good. Right, so we got a hard clue reward casket. Here we go. And 87k, that's very interesting. I haven't had a Ceridoman piece, so nice. I just got 93 Slayer. Pretty good, now I can kill all the monsters in the game that require high Slayer level. Smoke Devils was the highest requirement, I believe. Nice, nice. And when I get a Smoke Devil task, I can go for that Occult Necklace, which is has, gives an awesome Mage boost. Man, that bring I've never been 93 Slayer, and my dream 99 is 99 Slayer, and I just, oh, I can't believe that I'm a little bit past halfway. This is awesome. I'm going on 88 wood cutting, which is super nice. I've just been doing these mushrooms, and I actually just posted a guide on this on my channel if you're interested in learning how to do this. It's really nice wood cutting XP, and I think I'll probably be doing 90 to this. A boost to finish the Lumberbridge Diaries for a long time and I've been able to do it. Um, I just complete the Lumberbridge Hard Diaries which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and head back to get my reward. It is my second Elite Diary complete. Uh, the first one was Mortania or Mortania. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this in. I uh, there's a couple other um, Hard diaries, I mean elite diaries I can do, I just haven't come around to it basically because I'm, I'm lazy. Uh, let's see what my rewards are for completing the elite. I get 100% run energy completed three times a day, 30 casts of the high alchemy per day, um, one antique lamp, six slot to block slayer tasks, 20% discount on item, items in the the Colomancer's Chest, ability to use fairy rings without the need of a Draymon Staff. So that's awesome. Um, really excited about that. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to actually use this for. Probably Herbler is always the smartest, so we're going to do that. 50,000 Herbler XP. Two Diaries complete. I think the next one I need to do is either Varrock or Arduin or Fremnik. I'm not very sure yet. I decided I'd go ahead and beat, or finish, sorry, the Varrock Diaries, because uh, I finished the Lumbridge one, so I was thinking, might as well knock some diaries out that I'm able to do. I know I'm able to do a lot of them, I just have been lazy and haven't finished them, so here I should be finishing the Varrock Diaries. Very nice, and there it is. I need to find out where, if you hear any noise in the background, it's because I'm hanging out with my bird, Kiara. I think over here is where I turn in the diary. What's awesome about this diary is I get the Varrock Armor 4, all the hard diary rewards, one, oh, wait, is that hard? No, no, no. 
one antique lamp worth 50,000 and 120 battle stabs a day. So that's super good. So I get double the amount that I ha was getting because before I was getting 60 battle stabs a day. So that's awesome. All right, let's do this. Very nice. I got the plate body. Sweet. Good stuff. And we're going to use this on Herbler. 50,000. Awesome. So we're getting, we already got 100k Herbler XP down just from diaries. Guys, so I'm like 731k away from 99 range. And I'm a person who likes to level everything through Slayer. Don't get me wrong, that's just who I am. And I have, everything's been done through Slayer, but I'm just so close to me. I was just like, I'm gonna go chin and knock this out in the Monkey Madness 2 location and see what I can do. I don't even know 4,400 chins will do it, but we can just go ahead and try it out. Um, this is my gear setup, getting that little, um, you know, seeing what I can get out of this. Uh, I may not be able to hit you know the level but we'll see what 4,000 chins can do me I'm not I'm not very sure how long if I can get 99 but that's my goal and if I could get that tonight that'd be pretty sweet and I'll just use these chins up and basically if I don't uh, miss the trap door uh, if I don't get it tonight I'll just finish it up through Slayer I just have been like I've been at you know 98 range for so long so, um, having another 99 would be nice. So, I'm about to get a 99 range. It's the first time I've ever gotten it on RuneScape, even as a child. I never got it on main accounts or anything like that. Boom. Awesome. We got the big, big fireworks and everything. For anyone curious, with Rigor, my XP per hour went to about um, 350k to 370k. And without Rigor... Um, it was about 300 uh, and 16k if anyone's curious and uh, for 700k XP I used uh, about 3,000 chins 3,300 uh, for anyone who was curious I know it's it's a it's really a different for most it's different every time for every time you chin but let's go ahead and get this range cape I'm so hyped I've never had the 99 range cape, and this will be, I think, this is my fifth 99. Let's see. One, two, uh, three, four, five. Yeah, my fifth one, so that's so sick. All right, let's get everything. We need some moolah. Okay. And teleport to Camelot, I think it is. Nice. I, I just, I can't believe this. I've, I've never, ever gotten this, you know, and I mean, I cannot also believe how fast chins are. I got that in, what, two and a half, maybe three hours for 700 KXP, which is incredible. Okay, and I think it would have been faster if I used Rigor the whole time. I just didn't because it uses a lot of prayer, but definitely Rigor increases uh, your XP per hour by 25 to 30 percent I would say oops I did not mean to do that oh no I think I'm gonna have to kill this guy oops chins are not very good on single target that's for sure well ah, I want this cape okay let's remove the chin so we don't do that again Trade him. Nice. Got it. That's so amazing. Wow. I've never had this 99 before. Whoa. Too cool. Well, I'm going to end my progress video here. And thanks for much, so much for watching, guys. And um, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Thanks, bye.